Hello Tubesters, it's Gav, welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, it's just another pop-up video. I um, have got, well, you've seen the corporal in there already, but uh, I've got a couple more, three, well, three more figures painted. Uh, I'm just playing around with the skin tones on, on these at the moment. I might literally, once they're all painted, go back and do the whole lot or do one or two. The corporal's definitely going to get his skin tones redone. Um, sorry about the lighting, I'm literally just filming under my uh, painting lamp. And he's got his ground sheet there, uh, make him into a poncho or a shelter quarter. But again, lovely figures. I've, again, I'm, I'm changing the... I mean, I'll throw this up quickly, but you've, you've obviously seen this guy already. I put just a bit too much magenta in all that, and I'm I'm not happy with him really. But the the figures, a lot of them are really small faces, and I don't mean that obviously the, anything wrong with the sculpts. Just obviously they've got balaclavas on and that on a lot of them. So there's not a lot of face for you to actually, if you don't like doing faces, for you to get into. Like this guy's got glasses on. Uh, I just uh, I. I think I put some silver grey over the glasses and then literally just uh, bounced a bit of uh, ice yellow over them. Not over the whole the whole glass, just over bits of it. Uh, these are enamel mugs, these brown ones, they seem to be quite popular. Uh, if I've got, I mean I'm painting two more at the moment and at least one I've, I've given a brown mug so I'll probably change the mug colour to a metal metal one or something just to change it over a bit. Obviously he's the number two I should have said for the brain gun which is why he's got the brain guns uh, you know, like the section wallet for, for the spare barrels and stuff. But uh, as I say I, I have been trying to to change up the, the, the webbing because the British webbing could be like, a, like this sort of really desaturated type of Color, you know, like almost like a grey green. Uh, they could be dark green. They could be a yellowy green. I've I've only just started doing a couple of yellowy greens. All these have been fairly desaturated, but I have tried to do the odd, the odd piece different. Because when you get issued with this, even well, even up to the 90s when I was in, you know, you'll have a great big box of each part of the webbing. You don't get a piece. I've said it before. You don't get a a, a whole webbing issue so that's all the packs and everything you don't get those issued to you just to literally just adjust and put on straight away you have to build that webbing up you'll be given you know pack that you know everything's one so pack one uh, ammo pouches two uh, and then you'll get the yoke strappings and then it's up to you to put them all together uh, so you'll, you'll often get what I'm trying to say is you'll often get different colors in, in the dyeing process from different manufacturers or different years of manufacture so you can if you want to, I mean obviously you don't have to, I've given that one a more yellow um, yellow look uh, you, you can change them round just to just to change it up a bit obviously the the palette you've, you've, you've got a lot of the same greens almost so you would try and change them very slightly because um, obviously you've got the balaclavas are all green, the, the, the Scarves are all green, so they're all issued scarves. But I mean, I'm think toying with the idea of a couple of them maybe putting some civvy scarves on. I know it makes it a bit look like Pike out of Dad's Army, but uh, there's a couple I'm working on at the moment. These are smocks. Oh, I should have said, yeah, I've obviously, but you've noticed I've done the these are windproof, they're not the Denison para smocks, these are like a windproof, just a thin windproof uh, smock. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of uh, I haven't got to them yet, but uh, after the two I'm painting at the moment, I'm going to do the full smock uh, trousers and jacket. The only thing that threw me a bit, I've having to repaint that very slightly, is I couldn't, it almost looked like it was the leather jerkin, but I can't see how it could have been because it's got the smock on and the jerkin sticks underneath. So uh, then I thought there were greens green strap, uh, the webbing yoke straps, but they're further under so I think it's just the seam line of the jacket where the the arm meets the rest of it, so I'm just having to redo that as I go. These are all a work in progress, obviously. Uh, webbing's more or less done, I've got a, I do a lot of black lining on these just to 
obviously make them stand out with so much green. Uh, still working obviously on the on the rifle and whatever. And his mate who's Again, I've tried to give him, he's the first one I've tried to give like a yellow. It's either the dyeing process or some of it fades a different colour and it goes into like a yellowy green look. So that's what I've done with this guy. And uh, I'll do on a couple more as well just to mix it up and then I've given him a more cold green. Sorry, that's my computer. That's uh, Gary from uh, Gary's Stuff. Doesn't miss an opportunity that bloke to uh, video bomb you, right? Uh, yeah, uh, obviously all. I, 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 I've been using a new colour to me for for doing ready browns, uh, which is as he gets through his paint drawers. Uh, this one. I thought it'd be good for when I do vehicles if I'm using non if I'm not using lacquer as well as I, I like ready browns. So uh, I've been using that, and uh, obviously with, with the with the rifles, I then put also um, some more orangey tones in there, and some and some ochres, and the same with the, the the leather. But as you can see at the moment, the leather's looking a lot like the jacket. So I'll be putting some dark blue in on the on the leather in the in the in the shadow areas and stuff. Because what you don't want, which happens quite a bit when we're all painting is you use what's on your palette and you go oh I can use that for that but everything then looks the same and, and the chances of the rifle looking like the in real life looking like the the, the leather jerking is, is quite uh, remote so uh, by the time I've played around with a few extra colours in these it will change the, the tones in these so they hopefully won't look uh, too similar and that's it really um, as I say these guys which I had a bit of paint, so I just wanted to see what it looked like on his gaiters. But these, this guy and the corporal, probably Lance Corporal, I should say, for the Bring Gun Group. Uh, I will. I just need to check out some photographs of the the smock uh, trousers to make sure that they are they are smock trousers. I can paint them out as because obviously if the pockets aren't in the right place, they'll be wrong. So. Um, I just need to check that. But uh, yeah, we're, we're on the way. I think I've got four more. Those two and another two, I believe. Yep, yeah, that's good. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, a couple of photographs at the end. Not not many, as I say. Uh, I've been trying different. I just wanted to try some different uh, tones on the faces. Um, as I say, so they're, they're very slightly different, which doesn't really bother me uh, because at this on, on on this scale it doesn't look out of place and and people's faces are kind of different than that anyway um the, the corporal i'll definitely change because he's a bit too pinky but uh both these guys i'd probably leave as they are but uh i, I just just try and different you know I, i've got a thousand and one face facial type of paints i can use not not just the in the bottle but making my mind this guy was all just made up flesh tones. I was just playing around with it really, just just trying different things. Uh, I think uh, it helps you, you know, um, if you can just say right. Well, I'm not going to do those triads of 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 paint. You know, I've got. I can just put this and this on, and just keep adding different colours, or do the same colour in and keep lightening it. You know, then put a couple bit of shadow colour in there. You know, around the the wrists and stuff. And in the cheek areas, and uh, um, you know, you don't need to have three bottles or four bottles or whatever. Uh, it's no, <laughs> it's just, just I just enjoy doing that type of stuff. But I thought, well, I'll, you know, I'll, I've got the time. I'll, if I have to read paint the faces, it's not and, and hands, it's not a hard task. They're not, uh, it's not loads of them. So thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, as I say, I know I'm. I'm chucking up a lot of these, but uh, I've been enjoying. It. I, I'll say they're just one of the, that's you know sometimes you get a set of figures that are just really nice to paint, and uh, I, I've been enjoying it. Um, 
you know, it's a, when we talk about the rifle, that you, they'll end up ruffling. I, I never have a recipe. I just literally go with what I'm seeing on the palette that I can use. And so either one, you know, say all the rifles don't, will never look exactly the same because uh, it depends what I want to put on them to, to change the colours and the tones a bit. But uh, that's roughly what it'll look like uh, when it's it's done. Uh, but uh, now thanks for stopping by and taking a look. I, I'm hoping to have these at least painted uh, by by Friday, uh, but obviously they've all got to be based as well. And say so normally I would have already have them pre-stuck on and and putted into a into a base. Uh, I did actually find a, a half bag of extra bases, so I've got enough just to do this unit, and then I will have to send off to war bases for some more. Um, but uh, yeah, thoroughly thoroughly enjoying those. Really nice to to, to work on. Um, so thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look and, and showing an interest in these I really do appreciate it As I, I'll put on the thing again they've been painted as the King's Shropshire Light Infantry uh, fortunately the regiment doesn't exist in that name anymore it's part of the Light Infantry um, the modern day I think it's the Light Infantry they still call themselves uh, but uh, yeah these are from the County of Shropshire or recruited from the County of Shropshire uh, and uh, as I say, they're, they're called the King Shropshire Light Infantry. I believe this is Second Battalion. When I was looking it up for this brigade, of uh, the 185th Brigade, I believe, of the Third uh, Infantry Division. Uh, so that's fighting from Normandy to the crossing of the Rhine and into Germany. Um, and particularly, uh, you know, I'm obviously with windproof smocks and all the rest of it. I'm, I'm saying this is roughly around, you know, crossing of the Rhine time. Um, you know, late winter, early spring of uh, 45. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, again, once I've got another few painted up, of course, <laughs> I'll be sticking another video up. Uh, but they, they are really enjoyable sculpts if you if you fancy a go yourselves. Uh, the, uh, the, if you go on Empress's site, they've got a blown up uh, well, not a blown up, I'll do that myself, but you know, just, just put it on your tablet or whatever and you'll see what the smock looks like. Uh, I usually do mine either very, you try and stick to a colour obviously, but you you have to do them for the scale of the figure as well, you know, um, if they might need slightly lightening or whatever. Um, but uh, I'm happy roughly with, with, with what, what I've done there. Uh, I'd I, I put the camouflage in, uh, they've got some of that what I call raked colour. So um, there's blotches, uh, the bigger blotches, and then there's a like it's almost like you've dipped your fingers in the paint and gone across, um, which is quite common with, with British camouflage, even to up until the 90s when I was wearing it. So uh, yeah, do a couple of that, and um, they're, they're not hard to do at all. So uh, yeah, anyway, waffling again. Look after yourselves, and we'll catch each other soon on another video.